All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here on the back patio enjoying a uh, cup of coffee by the fireplace, and it's a beautiful day for it. While we're out here, I just wanted to make some comments and share my thoughts about several videos that have come out concerning a publication called The Trace. Now, if you're not familiar about The Trace, what they are is they're an anti-gun group in the guise of they're doing an investigating gun violence in America. You know what you should do? Go to Southside Chicago. Investigate that. Okay? Let me know what your thoughts are. All right. So uh, the last couple of days, there were a couple of videos, one by Coolion Noir and the other one by Mr. Guns and Gear, talking about a letter that was sent to several firearm manufacturers, uh, virtue shaming them into trying to disassociate themselves from several YouTube uh, influencers. Kristen Joy Weiss, when's the last time you ever heard her say anything political? Such, I don't know that Such ever does anything political. I know Coleon Noir does. I know that Guns and Gear really doesn't touch on it. But there are several other people who are mentioned in that letter. And what they are trying to do is to basically try to social uh, shame, virtue shaming, virtue put virtue blame that these individuals were instrumental in influencing their viewers into supporting an insurrection total bullshit and total uh, misinformation and it's a total lie absolutely a total lie but this is what they do folks this is what the left does they try to virtue shame they could care less uh, me no problem you all the problems they can do whatever they want, but what they do is they get a collaboration. They get a bunch of people. Mom's the man action now. you got every town for Newtown. we got Bloomberg up there who's instrumental in all of this and providing money to anyone who will take it to push his agenda. I get really, I get really fired up when I start thinking about this and that uh, what they said in this article, which is absolutely crazy, and I'll put the link down below, but what they're trying to do, the, 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 the bullet on this is extremism. Okay, so I guess anyone who doesn't think like they do is an extremist. And it's the title of it is The Gun Rights Rhetoric That Helped Seed the Insurrectionist Mindset. This is ridiculous. This is the mindset that these individuals have. Is that anybody with a firearm is an insurrectionist now? Anyone who doesn't think like them is an insurrectionist. Social shaming, virtue shaming companies into dropping their association with several people because these individuals have this anti-gun group has labeled people who have nothing to do with insurrection. They have nothing to do with talking political. I talk political. Hell, the other day, man, I went from getting a couple hundred subscribers a day to getting 67, I think it was, in one day when I, oh, I guess I said something bad about YouTube. Duke Law Professor Daryl Miller explains how a strain of Second Amendment advocacy convinced some Americans that they have the right to use violence against political opponents. I want to see numbers. I want to see people's names. I want to know exactly who they're referring to when they're talking about Second Amendment supporters supporting an insurrection. Uh, to be honest with you, the mainstream media, the left, they're the ones who have labeled this thing as an insurrection. A bunch of people stormed the Capitol building, talking about using their firearms, showing up with firearms at the Capitol building. It's just, it's scary. Mob of hundreds of ardent Trump supporters breached the nation's Capitol on January 6th to halt the certification of electoral votes from November's election and keep the president in power. Is, is that what they thought? Are these people, they're labeling these individuals as insurrectionists that they thought that they were going to be able to keep President Trump in power. Some of the writers described their causes as justified revolution. They had, after all, marched down Pennsylvania Avenue at the urging of their leader who told them, now this is a quote that they said, Donald Trump said, you will never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. How? Did, did he go, now go storm the Capitol? No, what they're doing is they're trying to print a picture, paint a picture that Donald Trump told these individuals to go storm the Capitol where he didn't. No one said that. These individuals acted on their own, and as of right now, there are several other individuals who have actually been uh, associated with Black Lives Matter or Antifa. What are those guys doing at that rally? 
just this morning, somebody got arrested trying to make their way into the Capitol uh, complex with 500 rounds of ammo. Crazy. President Trump has used the rhetoric to, of insurrection. Hold on. Let me use a liberal's voice. Are you guys ready for this? President Trump has used the rhetoric of insurrection at least since his 2016 campaign. And I should use my Don Lemon thing and just look down at you and talk like this. Anyway, this article goes on and on and on, and it talks about insurrection, and it talks about guns and things of that nature. But what the, the trace, what they did was wrong. They are using lies to try to influence and virtue shame manufacturers into discontinuing their association with these influencers. And that's the thing. They, they're busted. You're busted, Trace. You're completely busted in this endeavor to try to create an agenda, a lie, to hurt people in their livings. All in the guise of, it's for the safety of the children. And I'm frankly, I'm sick of people lying. That's the problem in this world. Social media is based on lies. Absolutely crazy. Let's go to Boy32. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, guys. I support my fellow gun tubers uh, to no end, and I'll be there right beside you. Got a really cool thing going to happen tomorrow. Uh, going to be going up to Lobby Day in Virginia. I'm going to meet up with a fellow YouTuber. He's going to be hopefully riding with me for the day. It should be a lot of fun. It's Codeboy32. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. Y'all be good. I am out of here. Peace. And remember, I said peace. No one's waging war. No one's talking about insurrection. No one's talking about anything else. Peace. But the problem is, they don't want peace. They want a war until they get what they get. And they do it through the mainstream media, the social media, and virtue shaming. And lies. Think about it.